What's up guys, Nick here with a brand new unboxing video. It's, it hasn't been that long, like what, a week since I've had an unboxing video? This one's actually the game that just came out, I think last week or so, I'm not sure, 27th, so yeah, a little over a week ago. But uh, it's a zombie game. I thought when I first saw it, I'm like, this is like Dead Island, isn't it? It's, it's some changes to it and stuff. We got Dying Light. I heard about this game about a year ago or so when it was supposed to come out actually last year for the next gen consoles and uh i'm like all right let's go ahead and get it i traded in a couple games to get it and pre order another game that comes out later on this month another unboxing video for y'all but uh let's go ahead and get it done dying light you have some zombies on the front and apparently a dlc where you get to play as a night hunter Ooh. I don't know what that is. Good night. Good luck. Into a world overrun by vicious, by a vicious outbreak. Scavenge for supplies, craft weapons, and fight bloodthirsty infected. Survive to live another day. Go anywhere, climb anything. Experience unprecedented freedom of movement as you seamlessly traverse a vast open environment full of challenges and surprises. So think uh, Dead Island mixed with Assassin's Creed for the traveling part. I think my thing might die again. I've had this remote, the original batteries, for months. No, months. I mean years. I've never had to replace them because all I have to do is smack it and it starts working. But, uh, all right, what is that? Creative brutality. Enjoy visceral, in-your-face combat alone, or join a team of survivors for intense co-op action. Hunter by day, prey at night. Watch the world undergo a drastic, dramatic transformation and conf confront the unspeakable horrors of the night. For one Xbox, it's one player, and for online, it's two to five. Ready to aim for blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language. And why did I get it for Xbox One, not for the PS4? Because I have a, uh, I have a lot more short space on my Xbox One. 1.8 gigs, or er, terabytes. 1.8 terabytes left. And you know, I'm just like, all right. Let's just get it for because PS4 is basically going to be for exclusives only. That one's not going to be on camera. I'm going to take the uh, security stuff off. This makes no sense. Why even have this? I don't know. I guess it's just something stores do or some of that. Alright. What is this? <gasps> it's a manual. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have anything in it? Licensing. Really? They show the licensing stuff in it. Oh, and it has to be backwards to stick in there. Fantastic. There's the game bot, or the game disc and everything. But, I'm going to add this to my little collection. You know, the games I got rid of were games I wasn't going to play. Or games I played before and I'm basically bored as hell. Like uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. I had it for PS4. Played it for 20 some hours. Then I get it. Then I got rid of it for some reason. I don't remember what it was for. Then I got the 360 version. Everything looks drastically different. The facial hair stuff looks terrible. I still, I still, I just, just. Here's the main thing that got me. I don't like the combat. For mages. Some of the skills are not that great, and some of the other skills are, but you have to be at a very high level to get to it. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you up, or this part, something. Um, little announcement next week starts the new lineup, which is for now two games. Uh, Monday, Mario Mondays is going to pick back up with a new game which is going to take a little bit longer than super mario world or any other ones that i've done and um mystery dungeon is going to be on fridays so it's not going to be on wednesdays it's going to be on fridays and you know i have plenty of recording time like 
I can record tomorrow for the Mon Monday and Monday stuff or whatever. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.